There's a theme in the scripture that you can look all throughout the Bible, and we call it the principle of the first. And it basically means that when you put God first in your life, in every part of your life, then the rest of your life comes into divine order. And so many times the Lord says, I want the first of that. There's many scriptures in the Bible. So we have something here at Oasis City Church called a first fruits offering. And we teach for several weeks on this principle of the first because first fruits is mentioned dozens of times in the scripture. And as a matter of fact, I wanna read you one, just one of the many scriptures to give you an idea of what we're talking about. One of them in Exodus 13, the Lord said to Moses, consecrate to me all the firstborn, whatever is first to open the womb among the people of Israel, both man and of beast is mine. God says that the first is mine. I also liken it where he talks about the first of all of your crops are mine. And the reason that first fruits, it's really different than a tithe. Uh, and I'll explain that in just a second. I like to say it this way. First roots is not a fundraiser. It's a faith raiser. It's a part where you join your faith and you partner with the Lord based upon some things that you want to see in your life, your personal life, your relationships, maybe it's your business, maybe it's your finances. And God says, I want the first. So it's kind of like this. Uh, when the Lord says, I want the firstborn lamb, uh, you didn't know at the time how many babies were in the womb, how many lambs were there. There could be four, there could be five, but God says, I want the first. And the reason that it's different than the tithe is because a tithe is really specific in the scripture. It's 10%. It's a tenth. So if you harvest apples, you go out in your orchard, you harvest all of your apples for that season, and then you count them all up and you take a tenth and you give it to the Lord. But first fruits is different because you're actually giving the first before you know how much is going to come. So if you had a plant, a green bean plants, or maybe tomato plants, and you had eight plants, and you have them all out there, and you're waiting and waiting and waiting, and then the first bud that becomes that fruit, that tomato, that one is God's. So you don't wait till you gather all the tomatoes, you give in advance. And part of that is your faith. You're saying, okay, Lord, that plant is yours, or maybe just that first tomato is yours. It's between you and God, but he says, I want the first. And so you take that first and your faith is saying that everything else is going to produce a harvest. It's a wonderful concept, and we've seen God do so many miraculous things in people's lives. When you partner with the Lord, it's very personal. It's not about a number. It's not about a percentage. It's about you believing God. So maybe it's a one-time offering that you do uh, in the beginning of the year. Maybe it is something that you say, God, I'm going to give you the first of maybe this business endeavor, uh, the profit that comes in for this. I'm going to make a one-time commitment, or I'm going to do this over the course of many months. But we have a first First Fruits Sunday coming up, and we are going to gather all the first fruits, all the commitments, all the promises. We're going to hold them up before the Lord. We're going to partner with you in prayer, and then we're going to see the testimony of the Lord in different lives throughout the course of the remainder of the year. So I'm inviting you to join us for First Fruits at Oasis City Church.